All right, so we've expanded this area out a little bit. So you gotta really hope that you're gonna be able to kill that guy with one magazine. Otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. Locked, there's the shape of a red sapphire on the gate above the lock. All right, we don't have one of those. The gate is locked, the shape of a green sapphire on the lock. Oh yeah, I have one of those either. Ah, this does not bode well for us today. Ah, oh, hello, zombie. Let's run past you and take you out on the stairs. Sounds like we've got zombies behind us as well, though, so we do need to be a little bit careful. See if we can't take this guy out somewhat in a sprightly fashion. There we go. Who's next? Evening! What a lovely evening for a walk as well. Care to join this fine maid as she makes her way through the maze? I'm sure you do. There we go. Stumbling around like a drunk. Wish I was drunk. Right, you're gone. Now, what else have we got lying around? Some more bullets. We do need more bullets because uh, our supplies dwindled after fighting that super zombie. I don't know if the enemies in this game have names. They probably do. Come on, dude. I'm trying to kite you. All right. I really don't want to lose health to you. We've already lost quite a bit. And we're a vulnerable woman walking along these kind of freaky hedgerows at night. Come on, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, he's wearing a Them and Us t-shirt. That's cute. Come on, buddy. Oh, you had to do it, didn't you? You had to do it. You had to be a dick. Show us up. Try and be Mr. Big Cock. Well, look how far that got you, friend. Right, now that sack of shit's dealt with. There's a shape of a purple sapphire. Well, we don't have a purple sapphire either. What do we have? Not much, actually. Okay. So this links round. Oh, hello. Look at this chap here. Looks like he's come out of an office. Well, I guess this is his punishment for sleeping on the job. Oof, okay, I thought he was going to lunge towards us then. That would have been bad. Now, I believe the key is in a pot around... There it is. So we can take that. Let's see if we can't clear the rest of this area out first. All right. These gates open. I like the way that these gates open and um, it doesn't become like a loading transition door. The gate's just open. That was certainly worth the bullet. Now, what else have we got going on in here? Don't think we've got any more dogs, luckily. We've got some health. Ooh. Very nice. More bullets. Good. Back up to 125. Strange disappearance note. Today, something strange happened. I was with a small group of other in initiates who were helping clean up the catacombs after yesterday's ritual. We were ordered by the master to look for a special tablet of his that had lo that he had lost whilst... I can't read. Oh, this white text. Um, that he had lost whilst in the chaos of yesterday's turning. We thought perhaps the damn professor took it whilst everybody wasn't looking, except I had found the tablet sitting off to the side of one of the corridors. When I approached it, it simply disappeared. When I told the master about it sometime later, he laughed, waving the tablet in front of my face and said not to worry, he'd found it. When I asked him how on earth he retrieved it, Mentioning the item's inexplicable disappearance, he simply said the box of Plotus. Plotus? 
I think that's how we say it. That's all you need to know. Which is what I figured, as he doesn't like discussing deep magic with us new recruits. Yeah, so this magical box is going to be quite important, and we're going to be bumping into that in a minute. Okay, so... We've got another Zed. Creeping around in the night. Okay, they, that tree kind of looked like it had legs. I don't trust trees that have legs. I'm very suspicious of such trees, if I'm being honest. Now, there are dogs that I can hear over the other side. Danger, guard dogs. There we go. Now, when I was playing this myself on my ally, I was shooting the dogs through the fence. There's one. Although, with the graphics set much higher here, there's a lot more visual effects that are making that harder. Right, we can just about see the dog there. I'd be happy if we can just kill one of these guys. Come on, buddy. There you are. Stay there. Didn't like that, did you? And again. Beautiful. Yeah, these dogs are a nightmare if we've got to take them out. I can hear another one. Is that it? There he is. Now, is that a shot we can make? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oof. So he can't have a huge amount of health left. Come on, Fido. It's an ugly, nasty bit of business, but it needs to be done. I don't like it. This hurts me just as much as it hurts you, probably. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't know if that's another dog or if that's just ambient sound effects. Still. I can't tell, but we've thinned out two of them anyway, which is going to make the job easier later when we inevitably have to return. Right. Uh... You know, that's fine. We'll leave that bandage there. Um, I guess... Let's have a look on the map. Yeah, just as I feared. So, just examining an item... ...is not enough to have it highlighted. You literally do have to physically pick it up and leave it, which is really annoying. I think if you walk up to an item and examine it, it should be part of the map. Anyway, we know we have the green key, and with the said green key, we can open the barriers down below to the green doors, which seems to be a reasonable thing to do. Alright, there we go, the courtyard is now open. Evening, buddy. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. There we go. Two rounds. I think that was worth it. But there's more. There's always more. Another bandage, which we're going to fondle and then immediately drop. There's the lighter fluid or burning oil, as it's called here. We're going to fondle that and then immediately drop that too. Alright, we've got another zombie. This guy's got a bit of a move to him. Come on. Ooh, another one. What were you two doing down there late at night? Helping each other out, I'm sure. Right, we'll have you. Can't break that. 
But we can take that mirror. So that seems like a reasonable plan. Let's see if we can't sort this chap out. Come on. One swipe. Then... Ooh. Ooh. Come on, you stupid bastard. Ooh, careful now. We really don't want to be caught on anything. We do want to save some bullets. Because... We're nowhere near done with the uh, zombie scourge yet. Oh, you fucker. That's fine. There's loads of health. There is an unfortunate delay from when you release the button to when she actually uh, goes back into the standard walking sort of animation. But anyway, we, we do have a lot of bullets. Now, we have a mirror, which is good, because we know where we can use a mirror for the making of progress. And there's one thing we like to do in this game, and that is the making of progress. Okay. We're going to do another Resident Evil favorite. It looks like something can be placed here. It has a round indentation. Oh. Well, we found that. So, no guesses for what we have to do here. We have to adjust the statue and connect all of these mirrors. Which isn't exactly the world's hardest puzzle, to be fair. But it does unlock something pretty interesting. some kind of portal this place is becoming crazier than I thought it could yeah we now have portals and uh, these portals are all over and where do the portals go I hear you ask well they go to some kind of static save room it looks like somebody is still sleeping in this bed I think she means recently was sleeping in this bed because there's very evidently nobody in there now. So this brings us to some kind of central almost hub. Now one thing we haven't really been doing is keeping tabs on Alicia's memories. Can't remember if we've read the first one. Oh, that's just the intro. Oh God, it feels like uh, nothing feels real anymore. What the hell happened to me? I keep losing consciousness, ending up in different places. First there was the bus crash, then I ended up on a boat somehow. Going through a swamp, I think I vaguely remember someone carrying me. Now I'm in somebody's bedroom, I have no idea where I am or who brought me here and why. Entry 2. I don't know what's going on around here, but everyone I have encountered seems possessed, utterly inhuman. From what I've gathered so far, this mansion belongs to some kind of cult who worship some person called the Master? Whoever these people were, they've now turned into some kind of cannibalistic monsters. I just barely managed to make it out of the mansion alive, but it looks like these crazy bastards are everywhere. I can't tell what's reality and what's fantasy anymore. The things I've witnessed so far don't make any sense. I've just somehow managed to find a portal that led me to some kind of strange room. It looks like it has something to do with the cult. I can see the same picture in here of the strange looking man whose portrait I saw in the mansion. Could it be the master? I don't know what's real anymore. And yeah, I'm not really sure what the symbolism is there with the brain in a jar, but we're just going to go with it. That seems very evil within to me, but uh-huh. Sure. Anywho, let's have a little look around here. Those look like tribal masks hanging above the fireplace. They do. 
feel like I'm being watched. Well, that's not good. Box of Plotus. Notes. It's the magic box, basically. Except from Atlas Obscura. An exploration of occult myths with hos historical origins. The term Box of Plotus originates from the Greek god of Plutus. Is it Plutus? It's got to be Plutus, isn't it? Plutus. Uh, who is known as the god of wealth, as well as the god of greed. Nobody knows exactly uh, who exactly first coined the term Box of Plutus, but it is believed that the well-known uh, esoteric fraternity Ordo Templi, or words, popularized the term after they had funded expeditions throughout the world to find the box. After learning of its origins, though recently uh, through recently deciphered um, cuneiform tablets in 1904, certain high-ranking members of the mysterious organization, which has connections to the Themelites and Freemasons, became obsessed with finding it. According to the OTO's trans, uh, transcription of the text, the box of Plutus was said to be a small puzzle box made seemingly indestructible of seemingly indestructible material. When activated, the box could be used as an infinite source of preservation for any object, no matter how big or small, harnessing a sort of fourth dimensional frequency to perform this feat. To one who... Uh, to one who liked to hoard wealth like Plutus, it was the ultimate prize. It is said in order to activate the box, one must rearrange the sliding tiles that comprise its walls in a specific pattern. To date, no one has ever discovered such a box, and according to noted archaeologists, something, something, something. Yeah, well, f lucky for us, there it is. And apparently you only actually have to do the puzzle on the hardest difficulty. So we have an item box here, which works as, well, a standard generic item box. We also have the box of Plutus. Now what does this box do? Apart from make a Welchy noise. We can also change costume there. And there is a vase of beautiful roses. So here we can summon every single item that we have touched. Now I believe we have to have touched these items and physically picked them up. Um, otherwise they wouldn't appear here. And what we can do is then pull them straight into our inventory and then drop them into the item box. Now, like I said, these portals have now opened all over the place. It's a really interesting bit of design. So the pistol, clear the story to unlock this item. I don't understand because we start with a pistol, unless that is a, well, almost start with a pistol anyway, unless that is an unlimited pistol. But that still doesn't make sense, because surely you've got to play all the way back up to this part before we can... Re I don't know. Shotgun and the Mac submachine gun as well. We have a vinyl record. We have two medium bandages. And we're just going to put everything that's scattered all over into our inventory. For, you know, posterity. Wow, we have so many items. Can you imagine if you didn't have this um, feature and you had to run over the entire map remembering where you put everything? Yeah, that would have been kind of anus, not going to lie. Like, big, chunky, large amounts of anus. Anyway, this video has gone on for nearly 50 odd minutes, so I'm going to be cutting this one in half. Um, I only meant to do a quick sign off kind of like half an hour video, but I've been enjoying this game so much. We're going to leave this uh, as a two parter, I think. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I am really, really, really enjoying this game. It's janky. It's crusty. It's, you know, not the greatest game ever in the history of mankind. But you know what? It ain't bad. It's really not. 
anyway thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time